my brothers and sisters, my beloved children. We live in strange times indeed. This virus has caused enormous disruption in our lives, our relationships, our economies, and our church lives, particularly during this holy period of Great Lent and Pascha. And it's very tempting to become disheartened and frustrated and fearful. And all of this is natural because most of us have never faced a situation like this before. But in this difficult situation, in these hard times, there may be other ways of looking at things. Perhaps this pandemic and this lockdown is an opportunity to reflect on things and to rethink our lives. Perhaps we can use this time to see what is important and what is not. Perhaps it's the opportunity we needed to spend time with our family and loved ones to get to know one another again. Perhaps it's time to spend more time at prayer, to pray as a family. Perhaps it's time to appreciate the fact that we at least have homes, comfortable homes, running water, stocks of food, when so many others don't have these luxuries or necessities. My brothers and sisters, my children, let's use this difficult time well and make the most of it. Please join me in prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Lord our God, you are rich in mercy and with careful wisdom direct our lives. Listen to our prayer, receive our repentance, bring an end to this new infectious disease, this new epidemic. You who are the physician of our souls and bodies, grant restored health to those who have been seized by this illness, raising them from their bed of suffering so that they might glorify you, O merciful Saviour, and preserve in health those who have not been infected. By your grace, Lord, bless, strengthen, and preserve all those who out of love and sacrifice care for the sick, either in their homes or in the hospitals. Remove all sickness and suffering from your people, Teach us to value life and health as gifts from you. Give us your peace, O God, and fill our hearts with unflinching faith in your protection, hope in your help, and love for you and our neighbour. For yours it is to have mercy on us and to save us, O our God, and to you we ascribe glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I wish you all health, strength, and patience, and a very blessed resurrection. Kalia Nastasi.